Jennifer, as I anticipate how truly beautiful you're going to be when I see you walking towards me in a few hours, my heart swells. Two Valentines were next to me as I wrote this, the heart-shaped card from our first Valentine's Day together, and the Star Wars notebook that you bought me. In that notebook, you wrote, quote, you're probably the best thing to come into my life, besides glitter. Jen, I'm blessed to have you in my life, and I'm overjoyed to call you my wife. You're the love of my life and the best thing I could have ever asked for. I love your ambition, creativity, and how you support and love me. Jennifer, when I bought your ring, I was so excited I wanted to tell everyone. Over the next week or so, I was a nervous wreck trying to plan out the perfect time to propose. When we finished up dinner and I got down on one knee, I was filled with anticipation as I waited to hear that three-letter word. Today. I'm excited because I'm confident in our decision to get married, and I can't wait to spend my life with you and call you my wife. Love, RJ. Dear RJ, I know you wrote your letter days ago, yet here I sit, typing it on my phone in the car ride to the church, but that shouldn't come as any surprise. Not because it isn't important to me, but because, let's face it, I couldn't be on time to save my life. I am blessed to have found someone with the level of love, patience, and respect you possess. For that reason, I am beyond thankful for us and the bond that we share. I couldn't ask for a better companion in life, and I look forward to our days together as husband and wife. There's so much more I could say, but we have a lifetime ahead of us to look forward to. Let's do this. Love you always, Jennifer. And I invite you to kiss the bride, keep it rated G. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Oh. All the ways you see through my heart I know the good intentions they